Hi friends, myself Subrata Mukherjee. At the outset, I would like to request all the students viewing my channel to note the problem in your notebook before you start. And today, I will discuss a problem on departmental accounting. A company has two departments, X and Y. Department X sells goods to Department Y at normal market price. From the following particulars, prepare a departmental trading and profit and loss account for the year end date 31st March 2019. Department X, Department Y. Opening stock 15,000, nil. Purchases 2,50,000, 40,000. Goods from Department X 40,000. Wages 15,000, 20,000. Salaries Departments 7,000, 5,000. Closing stock at cost to the Department 80,000, 20,000. Sales 2,60,000, 1,45,000, printing and stationery 2,500, 1,500, machinery 15,000, advertisements 12,000 and salaries general 18,000. Depreciate machinery by 10%. The general unallocated expenses are to be apportioned in the ratio of 2 is to 1 to the departments X and Y. So we have to prepare here in the books. of a company of a company departmental trading and profit and loss account so in the books of a company departmental trading and profit and loss account for the year and date 31st march 2019 so first we will prepare the trading account and thereafter we will prepare the profit and loss account so on opening stock we have 15,000 and nil then we have purchases 2,50,000 and 40,000 next is the transfer so two transfer so in Y there is a purchase and in X there is a sale. So buy transfer and to transfer 40,000. So next is wage. So wage is a part of your trading account. So wages is 15,000 and 20,000. Next is salaries. So salary I am writing here two salaries is 7000 and 5000 so then closing stock so by closing stock we have 80000 in department x and 20000 in department y next is printing and stationery so in pl account so two printing and stationery we have 2500 and 1500 next is machinery so depreciation on machinery so two depreciation on machinery in department y is 1500 because 10% on 15000 10% on 15000 is 1500 Next item is uh, advertisement and um, and salaries. So advertisement uh, advertisement is total amount is twelve thousand. It will be allocated in department X and Y in two is to one. So in department X it will be eight thousand first item advertisement eight thousand and four thousand so total amount of advertisement is twelve thousand so uh, two by three into twelve thousand and two by three into uh, tw uh, one by three into twelve thousand so one by three into twelve thousand is four thousand and two by three into twelve thousand is eight thousand and next is two salaries salaries this is a general salary general uh, total expense is 18,000 so 2 is to 1 so 2 by 3 into 18,000 will be um, 12,000 2 by 3 into 18,000 12,000 and 1 by 3 
1 by 3 is 1 by 3 is 6000 so this is the expense so i have written all the expenses and now we will prepare the uh, we will complete the trading account so in trading account we have 15000 opening stock then purchases 250000 40000 to transfer and buy transfer and there is an item of sales so uh, i have just omitted that sales so uh, i have to write here so sales is 260000 and 1,45,000 i just omitted it so i have uh, I written here again and uh, let me close and to find out the value of gross profit or two gross profit cd so this will be 1 lakh in case of department x and in case of department y this will be 65000 so this is the balancing figure and both side total will be 3 lakh 80000 for department x 3 lakh 80000 and for department y this will be 1 lakh 65000 So this gross profit will be brought written down in your PL account. So by gross profit BD, so this will be one lakh and sixty-five thousand for department Y. So we have salaries, uh, printing and stationery, depreciation, advertisement, and salaries general. So the net profit is also the balancing figure here. So this will be 70,500 and this will be 47,000. So both side total of um, PL account will be 1 lakh in case of department X and 65,000 for department Y. So now you have to prepare the general trading, uh, general PL account. So general pl account so by net profit bd for department x this is 70500 and for y this is 47000 and there will be a stock reserve because there is a transfer from department x to department y and there will be a stock reserve so sorry so there is a stock reserve and 33 one third percent uh, we have to calculate the GP rate okay so for this uh, we have to prepare a small working so what is the GP rate of department uh, the transfer transfer department so transfer department is department X so what is the GP rate so gross profit of department X is 1 lakh gross profit for department X is 1 lakh and what is the total sales uh, 2 lakh 60 thousand is the sale um, to outsider and 40 thousand sale uh, is the transfer to department Y into 100 so your GP rate will be 1 lakh by 3 lakh into 100 this is 33 one third percent and uh, stock reserve stock reserve this will be 33 one third percent into 20,000 20,000 is the closing stock into 40,000 is the amount of transfer and 80,000 is the so stock reserve is the GP rate into closing stock of department Y into transfer amount divided by total purchase of Y so 33 one third percent is the GP rate 20,000 is the amount of closing stock of department Y 40,000 is the transfer amount tra value of goods transferred from department X to department Y and 80,000 is the total purchase by department Y so uh, this 80,000 consists of 20 40,000 transfer from department X and 40,000 is the outside purchase so this is 80,000 and the value amount of closing sto uh, stock reserve is rupees 3333 so now i put the value of stock reserve 3333 from the working to net profit so net profit is the overall net profit of general net profit of the 
company. So this will be one lakh fourteen thousand one hundred sixty-seven. And this is the uh, total uh, departmental trading and profit and loss account in one screen. You have understood the problem and students who are viewing my channel, I would like to request them to subscribe my channel to get regular updates and to see the playlist section of the channel to see the videos that I have uploaded there. Thank you.